This is Shaquan Barrows. In 2022, he ranked 7 in the region for applied mathematics in Cape Unit 1 examinations. What is his secret and how can you excel in your CXC math exams? Stay tuned to find out. That's how you become a good math student. Did you expect to achieve what you did? Was there an expectation? No. But did I work towards excelling in the course? Well, yes. Um, I was I I would have attended extra classes, some refer to them as the lessons, well of course at the cost. And I never liked the idea of wasting money, so I knew I had to do my utmost. What was your reaction when you found out? Well, to be honest, uh, I had no sort of reaction. Sometimes I wonder if I'm even human, but I got a message from my friend telling me congrats. Um, I, I didn't even know the merit list was out at that time. Then she sent me a screenshot and there was my name, the only guy in in that list. And I was just like, oh, but I was still happy with my achievement. It's soothing to reap the reward, the rewards of your work. So could you describe the timeline of preparation for from choosing a subject to preparing for K? If memory serves, uh, I got enrolled to sixth form around early November, and I heard that the 2022 exams weren't going to be postponed. So I was worried about if I would be able to finish learning everything on the syllabus. But thankfully, we got an extension and the release of topics, which was a major lifesaver. So after the topics were released and we got the three-week extension, um, my teachers decided to go through the topics that were coming in the exams. So the pressure to learn everything on the syllabus was somewhat alleviated. In terms of internal assessments or IAs, I always try to do IAs to the best of my ability so I can get as many marks as possible and enter the exam with a good grade. So how do you study for tests and internal exams? Well, I study every day, actually. I try to stay as focused as possible during classes. So I, so I absorb and understand what is being taught. Um, as I understand concepts, I make flashcards. I go through them every day. I use this, um, this app called Anki, which makes the process of making cards very efficient. It has an algorithm that uses space repetition so you're going to be forced to recall this information just when you're about to forget it, which is optimal for memorization. So that was a very useful tool. Now, because I study throughout the academic year, the pressure wasn't as much around exam, around exam time. It was just a matter of brushing through my notes, um, going through some past papers with math subjects, Frequent practice is the only way you're going to excel. A lot of students see math as patterns to remember. If I see this, I'm going to do this, or what do I do when I see this? But no, learn concepts, not patterns. That way you can reason your way through difficult problems and find solutions because you understand the concept. Always ask why we follow this procedure. What is the application? That's how you become a good math student. So how do you stay most motivated through all of this? I don't, um, I don't, I don't stay motivated. I don't think any human being can stay motivated. What brings consistency is discipline. You might feel motivated for a whole month, but eventually that is going to die. Um, what's going to keep you going is discipline. The understanding mm -hmm. that if you don't study or if you don't work hard, you're going to lose, you're going to fail, and not just in academics. Whenever you spend hours on um, YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, watching meaningless videos, someone else somewhere is studying, someone else is going to win, someone else is getting ahead of you. So the idea of that is, is what keeps me going. What are some challenges that you faced and how did you overcome them? My major challenge, um, like most people, um, is procrastination. 
So how do I overcome them? Uh, I ask myself, do I want to fail or do I want to succeed? What do I want for myself? I know the consequences of wasting time. So what am I going to do about it? Sometimes I don't feel like studying or working out, but with the understanding that if I don't, there will be consequences, I overcome that feeling. I also think that prayer is uh, very important. Having a relationship with God is imperative because during your times of weakness, he's going to give you strength. Ask him to help you focus. Ask him to help you with whatever challenges you face and you'll see the difference. So how do you balance school, extracurricular activities, community service, and a social life? Um, like I said before, I study every day. But how I do it, um, I try to fill in those small pockets of time by reviewing flashcards. For example, if I'm in a car, I go through my cards, waiting on someone outside, go through my cards. Because of this, I have more time to spend with family and friends and, and do the things that I find relaxing. And to be honest with you, not every activity that you find relaxing, you should use as a reward. Some habits need to be avoided as much as possible. For example, some people like scrolling through um, social media. So maybe when they're done studying, they're going to go on um, YouTube or TikTok and they end up spending three plus hours or even eight scrolling through feeds. You should relax by doing meaningful things. Life is short and at any time, anything could happen. So you are a loved one and you can't prevent that. But you don't want to be in the position where you say, oh, I should have spent more time with this person or I should have watched my diet or exercised more frequently. It's not a nice position to be in. Regret is a permanent thing and I think it's the worst emotion. Why did you choose to study these subjects that you did? Well, I like science and math. I enjoy analyzing problems and finding solutions. The fact that you're always going to be discovering things and learning new things, I, I enjoy that. The novelty is what, is what keeps me drawn to it. What are your plans after high school? Well, that would be to get into medical school, by the grace of God. I want to be a doctor. The human body is very intriguing. Learning about complex processes is very exciting and I get to save lives in the process. So it's a big win. So what's one advice that you could give to someone sitting CXC exams this year? CXC exams are nothing to fear. Don't be anxious. Remember mm -hmm. that you weren't given a spirit of fear, but of power and love and the sound mind. Mm -hmm. So stay focused. Be calm and do your utmost. Remember that whatever your hand find it for you to do, you do it with your might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where thou goest. Diligent hands bring wealth, but lazy hands bring poverty. I also think that strength is very important. You need to be as strong as possible mentally, emotionally, and physically um, because Good health is true wealth. So you need to be strong if you want to achieve your dreams. Because, like, like I said, um, life is short and very dynamic. So it's going to change sometimes, slowly, sometimes, um, suddenly. So resilience is key to survival. And that's the case both in the wild and in civilization. You find that only the species that were able to adapt to their changing environment, survive. Things are going to change and you need tunnel vision. You need to focus on what you want to achieve. You need to be disciplined. Adapt this mindset and you'll be unstoppable. Focus on your IAs, on your SBAs, and be consistent with your studies.